Thank you, Nathan. I'm sure many of you are aware there has been so many recent achievements with our incubating projects. Next up, we are pleased to share these updates from our amazing community of incubating project maintainers. Let's hear from them now. The CERT measure project solves certificate management for Kubernetes and OpenShift. CERT measure automates the issuance process and Trust measure automates the trust bundle distribution. Our latest release contains some great improvements. We, for example, reduced the memory usage of our operators and we added support for public CA sources. Thank you to all our contributors and a special shout out to our top 10 external contributors. Check out our products on GitHub, ask a question on Slack or meet us here at KubeCon or virtually during our daily stand-up. Hello KubeCon, I'm Thomas, Cilium Maintainer. Here are the Cilium updates. Since KubeCon Detroit, we have applied for the CNCF graduation, released Cilium 113 with many exciting features, ingress, service mesh, and SNI support for network policy. What is next? MTLS support using Spiffy, a new meta device, and big announcement. We have started working on a new way to easily connect Kubernetes and non-Kubernetes using Cilium Mesh. Have a great KubeCon, everybody. Hi, everyone. I'm George from Cloud Custodian. Cloud Custodian is a rules engine for the cloud. That means you write a little bit of YAML, and if something's not supposed to be there, Cloud Custodian will take care of it for you in real time. Cloud Custodian is a healthy open source project, and this year we'll be concentrating on integrating shift left functionality to ensure that your stacks come up properly the first time. Check us out at cloudcustodian.io and have a great conference. Hi, my name is Clemens Fastas. I work for Microsoft and I work on the CNCF Cloud Events project as well in, as in the CNCF serverless working group. And in that working group, we've been doing lots of work on the um, Cloud Events Registry or X Registry as we call it now. And that is a metadata registry for serialization schemas, for uh, message definitions like for Cloud Events and for endpoints and for other metadata. And uh, I will be speaking about this registry at Coupon Europe. Welcome everyone to our Cryo project update for this KubeCon EU. We shipped Cryo 126 together with corresponding Kubernetes release back in December, and it contains a bunch of new features. For example, we enhanced open telemetry tracing, support con mono S. We have the event at Black. We have SAC Home Notifier support and also support for the node resource interface. And we also enhanced checkpoint and restore. But we have even more. There are new releases available for the supported release branches, and we are also working on fixing all of our bugs and enhancing our docs. So reach out to us if you want to learn more. Hi everyone, I'm Mark Fussell, a maintainer on the Dapper project. Here's a short update on Dapper, the portable event-driven runtime for building distributed applications across cloud and edge. Dapper now has nine building block APIs and over 100 components to build modern applications. The community is thriving. We have many people and organizations contributing to Dapper. And in the 110 release, it contains several very exciting features such as workflows, pluggable component SDKs, and bulk PubSub messaging. Come join our Discord and see you at KubeCon. Hello, everyone. I'm going to introduce the milestones of the Jumpfly in the field of uh, image acceleration. Jumpfly's architecture and uh, scheduling has upgraded. It supports a distribution for NADAS and SRGZ. NADAS shipping with vanilla Linux kernel support by YAOFS and FS Catch. Ecosystem integration coverage such as Cotton-D, Docker, and Podman. Hi, my name is Lance Austin, a maintainer on the Emissary Ingress project. 
Since KubeCon Detroit, we ship four new minor versions, upgrade dependencies such as Envoy Proxy and Golang, and ship new features. Open telemetry tracing support, upstream active health checking, non-blocking readiness checks. We also welcome three new community contributors. Join us for our maintainers talk, or stop by our Contrib Fest to help contribute. Or if you want to just talk, stop by the OSS Pavilion. Have a great KubeCon. Hey everyone, Jackie Salinas here. I'm delighted to share with you the latest Falco project updates since Detroit. The Falco community has been busy delivering two releases, 33 and 34, and with them bringing exciting new features, such as now you're able to easily manage the lifecycle of rules with Falco CTL. The MQTT Falco Sidekick integration is the first step into the IoT ecosystem for Falco. And we have a new plugin that supports Kubernetes audit events from EKX plus the new experimental modern eBPF probe landed with Core. On the community side, we've seen some growth and we're seeing our project mature. Hello, KubeCon. My name is Neil Abogado and this is the gRPC update. It's been a very good year with the introduction of over 14 releases with numerous new enhancements. Looking ahead, we're planning to improve the observability and proxyless service mesh capabilities, while also introducing over 40 pieces of new documentation to ease the gRPC learning curve. To learn more, please visit the gRPC.io site to get started and join the mailing list to stay current on all things gRPC. Take care. My name is Aditya, I'm one of the maintainers of Intoto, which is a framework for creating and verifying claims about the security of your software supply chains. We've been busy with things like the version 1.0 release of Intoto attestations, mechanisms for proposing unique attestation types, and various updates to our implementations. To learn more about these efforts and about new adoptions, new implementations such as Witness, integrations with ArcaVista, Guac, and our new governance model, join us at our maintainer track talk. provides a programmable framework for you to connect, secure, and observe your microservices. Istio is a CNCF incubating project and the most popular service mesh deploy in production today. We are super excited about the future of Istio with Ambient, where you can run your application without sidecars. Check out istio.io to learn more. Welcome to Project Knative Update. How do I go from code to cloud? How do I make Kubernetes easy? How can I build event-driven apps? The answer is Knative. We now have stable and longer support cycles, customizable language packs for functions, security guard, event mesh concept, and much more. Looking ahead, event discovery and subscription, integration with Gateway API, writing Knative functions with Dapper, and more. Join us at CNCF Slack to learn how others are using Knative, connect with other developers, share ideas, and get inspired today. Hey, hello everyone. I'm David Cole, co-owner of Longhome Project. Longhome is a distributed storage system for Kubernetes. It provides precision volume management in and out of class data service. Longhome is a lightweight, highly available, resilient, reliable solution. The goal for Longhome is run anywhere, cloud, on-prem, and edge. If you want to know about Longhome, come to join our maintainer session or visit our kiosk. Thank you. Let's talk about what we did with NAT in 2022. First, we released three new versions of the server. We have a key value store, a microservices library, and an object store that is all new, some of which is experimental. You can now move streams around very, very easily, and you have all these new operational things like scaling up and scaling down, along with all of that stuff inside of the NATS CLI. NATS has been downloaded a ton too over 2022. So just scan that QR code and join the NATS community. You're gonna have a blast with all the new stuff we've been working on. Awesome. Thank you so much to our incubating project maintainers for those fantastic updates.